There's a right there. That's a little better fish. Awesome. Seeing a bunch of fish busting out here, but I just saw the backs of one of them, and it's they're big all carp, which are fun to catch, but you're probably not going to catch them very easily on a bass lure. So. There's our first hookup on the popper, on the popper. Oh, it's our big old bitty one. We got the popper, and. Uh, Got this little um, 12 inch bass. Still fun. Thanks, sir. Hey, <laughs> he was excited. Here's one. Feels like a better fish. Yeah, he is. That's a little better fish. Little better fish. Oh, oh, okay. A much better fish. Look at that. He just slurped it up right by that big rock right there. All right, here we go. All right. So, as far as topwater fishing, it's nice and calm out today. So I chose a bait intentionally that was a little smaller profile, and didn't make quite as much noise. But I can make it make big, loud splashes or little tiny twitches on the surface. And this one hit it uh, near that rock right there. You can't see it um, on the pause after a small twitch. So experiment with your retrieve is my point. And don't let the fish hook you. Back in the water. Thank you. Follow that. That's three I've lost. There's a fish. I mean, he's not big, but I want to at least land him. Well, that's a nice green sunfish. Wow. Okay. I'll take it at this point. I'll take it. It's not picky right now. Really nice hybrid, maybe? I don't know. I think it's a green sunfish. Maybe it's a hybrid. Anyway, he fell for the little grub, swim slowly right near these rocks. Um, so let's keep going. That's six bites, three fish. So we're not doing very well so far. Anyway, get back in the water. There's one underneath the dock. Come on out, buddy. Is it a white bass, maybe? It's a better fish. Oh, don't get down in there. It might be a white bass. I can't even see it. It is a white bass. Awesome. There we go. Very cool catch. A big white bass. Oh, he's blind in one eye. And I'm I just pitching it. this uh, grub up next to the boat dock there. Look at this cool fish. Little three inch clear grub. Look at this very cool white bass. Look at this, blind in one eye. <laughs> that is a cool catch. I love these extra catches. Get you back in the water. Always fish the boat docks.
Is that a fish? No. Well, it's a fish of sorts. I set the hook on a stump. <laughs> That's a good one. Not the target species, but fun nevertheless. All right, we're hooked up, hooked up, and I think it's off. I don't understand why people can't pick up the bucket, you know? Actually, I do understand because they're all lazy. That was crazy. The only person that is not lazy is Hooked up, you and me and came off, miserable. came back and got it. <laughs> cool little uh, Guadalupe. There's one, out in front of the dock. You're not getting off, buddy. Just slow swimming that grub right in front of that dock. Oh, well, he got in the boat, so it's number six. One pound largey, little grub in front of the dock. There's one. In front of the same dock. Better fish. Oh, he's oh, he's a show off. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Look at this fish. There's a nice fish. I just pitched it right back into the uh, little dock area and hooked up with this two pounder on the little grub, just slow swimming it. So this is uh, fish number seven. Not bad so far. Started off a little rough, but here we go. Thank you, sir. back in the corner and knew it. Get him up, there's a cable. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Yeah, got him over the cable. All right, I hope y'all saw that. I pitched it way back in the back of that corner underneath those cables, underneath and over a cable. Still managed to hook up with this feisty little guad. Uh, you know, it seems like the morning is not going very well, but this is number eight and we've been fishing for an hour and a half. So it's a time, if fall is coming, let's do it. There's a fish right there. Water on the square bill. Oh, that's a decent fish. There's a decent fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Good fish guys, good fish. Keep tight, keep tight, keep tight. Oh yeah, look at this fish. Look at this guy. Oh yeah! Oh! oh. <gasps> the lure came out and the fish jumped in the net. <gasps> no way. That was insane. Wait till you see this fish. Wait till you see this fish. That was crazy. Look at that fish. Beautiful fish. Right as I went to net the fish, he jumped. The lure came out. Still managed to scoop him up in the net. He is long and skinny. Hasn't really quite starting to fatten it up yet. So I think that as the wind picked up, that's gonna help the bite as we just picked up this really nice bass. There she goes. Woo! Now I'm stoked.
There's one. Got it. Right out from under the walkway. Always fish behind those ducks. Oh, another nice fish, guys. This is a really nice fish. It's a beautiful fish, too. Yes, yeah, in the net. Oh, not as big as that other one, but a really nice fish. And just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Early fall transition. Swim bait fish. Match the hatch, the little three inch grub. They're still feeding on small baits. Just an absolutely beautiful fish. Get you back. Yes. There's one. Yep, bumping along the rocks. Oh, that's a big guad. That's a really big guad. Wow. Really nice Guadalupe bass. I was just bouncing the uh, square bill in about two to three foot of water off some rocks, and this guad just hammered it. Man, this Bill Norman square bill, really sticky hooks. Awesome guad, beautiful fish. See ya. There's one. Oh. Okay, that's a nice fish. Where are you? Where are you? That's a nice fish. Is it a big drunk? Because it's not jumping. What are you? What are you? What are you? Feels like a big old drum. Let's see if I can get a look at you, buddy. I saw a white flash. It is. I knew it. Just by the way he's fighting. What a fun fish, though. In the net, yeah. Top four early fall lures. Big fat drum or Gasper goo as some call it. That's a really nice fish. Fun fight. I knew immediately because it didn't jump at all. It just stayed deep, dug around like a carp, I guess. Beautiful fish. Little guad has some pretty cool patterns. Not really the bars that you see normally, just kind of a solid gold color. Beautiful fish. Um, hit the swim bait, swimmed offshore a little ways, very really slow. Erratic retrieve. Thank you. There's a fish. There's one. Not a big fish, but parallel in this uh, steeper bank, he's probably came out of three or four or five foot of water. Are you in something? Because you're not that big. Feels like he's wrapped in something. Oh yeah, he, oh! <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Oh yeah, he's bigger than I thought. Nice two pounder, wow. Another really nice fish. Time to go fishing, guys, right now. Another solid pound and a half, two pounder.
Hello, friend. up again on this little slippery bank. Oh, I hope y'all caught that jump. There we go. That's a nice little one pounder. There you go. Thank you. one right up on the shoreline get around that tree I don't know where are you there you are <laughs> that was cool he was right on the shoreline he hit the second oh and he's off <laughs> he hit the second it hit the water Pretty nice stick fish here. All right, guys. Just got off the water. Productive day, I did not know what to expect. We're in the very early fall transition. Uh, we're starting to have cooler mornings. We're starting to have a few weather changes. We've already had our first cold front. Normally in the summer in Lake Travis, the fish key on these smaller bait fish. But in the fall, we kind of transition to uh, bigger forage as they're feeding up for winter. So with all that in mind, I went out with the plans to fish a summer pattern of smaller baits, but mix in a few bigger baits and different patterns as well and see what happened. We fished the top water, caught a couple. Little surprised at the inconsistent top water bites so far. We caught a couple on the uh, square bill crankbait, and this is new. We don't usually throw this in the dead of summer. We caught a couple of nice fish, including the four pounder on this. The grub, this is a three inch uh, grub. I'll drop the manufacturer down below. I fish it on a 1 8 or 3 16 ounce jig head, um, darter style jig head, and I swim it really slow. This was the star today, caught the most fish. Did not catch the biggest, but caught the most. Um, the key again is that slow and erratic retrieve. Pops, twitches, pauses, skip it up behind the boat docks. As you probably noticed in the video, most if not all fish were caught either around or next to or behind boat docks. Not marinas, but floating boat docks. And of course, the rooster tail, which basically perfectly mimics the forage size in this lake. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think about uh, fall fishing. What is your go-to lures and um, tight lines? We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, any time spent outdoors is time well spent. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one.